Hello, hello my sweet peaches and welcome back to my channel. Lucy also welcomes you back with her little strawberry swirl cone, which is super on brand because today we are building a strawberry bakery on Strawberry Island. If you like this kind of comfy, cozy Animal Crossing content, please be sure to like and subscribe. You know the drill. All right, so let's get into this. Um, so this is the area I'm working with. It's just to the left of resident services. Um, I built this little pig pen and this little well area. And then it's just straight all the way to the back. Um, I already have Meringue's house placed here because she'll be running our bakery. Um, and as you can see, we've got these little strawberry patches on the beach. Um, I already put them together because it takes quite a lot of work to get all of the flowers planted. Um, but yeah, we've got a nice big area for her to run our little bakery. So let's just jump right into it. Um, so basically I wanted to build like the actual bakery like outside i can't decide if i'm gonna try and like speed run the dlc to um customize her interior like if i want her house to also be the bakery but um at the very least for now i started decorating like outside her house um so this little spot where i'm putting down all these tiles it's basically like an outdoor bakery um kind of open air i don't know if that exists or not but it sounds very cozy just having a little open bakery right on the water um and yeah i just started filling in because like this little rock back here is like the perfect size just to squeeze in this little brick oven um and all these cute little baked goods um i was also very excited because i haven't really used some of these kitcheny items and like the paint customizations yet like this counter table um and later on i put down like the covered counters you all know i love pink if you haven't noticed um from my channel and my island and just everything um i love pink but sometimes it's like overwhelming um so i felt a little nervous about doing like a really really pink kitchen like in my own builds or like in my own house or whatever um but i decided to just like go all out for this i'm like screw it it's a strawberry bakery it needs to be ridiculously pink and over the top um so i just went for it and i actually really love how it looks um all of the pink stuff matches pretty well. Um, like I tend to get frustrated with like wood tone items in this game because they're all slightly different. Like none of the dark tone woods are quite the same. None of the neutral tones are quite the same. They're just all over the place. So it's really nice that they matched all of the pink things to actually look really good. Um, and yeah, basically right here, I'm building like the front end of the bakery. Um, I thought these little covered counters were kind of like, almost like windows you could walk up to, to place your order um, and pick up your baked goods, you know, whatever you're getting. I have like that little dessert carrier and the cash register, like you're picking up a donut. Um, which speaking of picking up donuts, I actually just dropped a donut right here. Um, one of my plans for this island that I always forget about is, um, like placing dropped items like in dream addresses i always forget about that so i want to make more of an effort to drop items down um so that you can actually go and like you know pick them up when you visit um because i definitely am going to be posting a dream address for this when it's done i i always do that with all my islands um so yeah i i want it to be a little bit more interactive like you can actually go to the bakery and have your little strawberry donut um and anyways here i am just putting this path down which can we just uh, pause and appreciate how beautiful this path code is? I can't tell you how many different paths I have tried for this island. Um, it, it's been super frustrating because like, I, you know, it's farm core, so I want it to look very natural, you know, realistic, but at the same time, it's supposed to be very little kitty, um, very, you know, kawaii, kind of kid core vibes. So it's been hard to find a path that like suits both of those. And I feel like this path is perfect because, you know, it looks very natural and realistic, but it's also very soft and colorful. It's just perfect. Um, and anyways, moving on, um, this little back area on the rocks, originally I was just going to have it be like extending the bakery area or like more seating, but I decided to actually make it like a little uh, pick your own strawberry uh, area. I have, I didn't have an actual like wooden sign. I don't have that DIY. And I was just too damn lazy to get on my other switch and craft one to mail to myself. So I just put on a little pop display. Um, and yeah, just put in a bunch of barrels. Like maybe they just packaged up a whole bunch of strawberries to ship off. But yeah, I really like the idea of like going and picking your own strawberries and then stopping in a bakery on your way out. 
um, I feel like that's a thing that you actually see like in real life. I don't know about with strawberries, but I know that's a thing for like apple orchards. Um, I've seen like YouTube videos of people who go and like, you know, you pick apples and then get your like apple baked goods. I just think this sounds really cute. Um, also, I have no idea what's going on with the birthday sign. I don't know. I just thought it like suited the colors and it's cute. <laughs> so I threw it up there. I don't know if it really matches anything at all, but I, I just liked it. So I used it. Um, also, I was going to say, if my voice sounds funny in this video, it is 12.30 a.m. And I get very self-conscious about talking um, out loud, even though I know my family can't hear me. I'm like, oh my god, they're going to hear me. They're going to think I'm a nerd because I'm filming a video. So I'm like kind of half whispering into my microphone, which is like sitting directly in front of me. We're kind of having an ASMR moment here. Um, I don't know if it sounds any different than normal, but... I'm trying to be quiet, um, but I'm also very stubborn. I was like, I have to film this damn voiceover before bed. I'm like inspired. The thoughts are in my head. I need to say the words before they leave. I don't know if anyone else, um, you know, films any sort of thing. If, if you feel the same way, you know, if there's any other YouTubers watching, like when the when the dialogue comes to you, when the, when that dialogue hits, you just gotta you gotta film it. Um, I was like, I can't wait till tomorrow. All the thoughts are gonna be gone. So yeah, I'm awkwardly filming very quietly right now. Um, and then anyways, I wanted to do like a little seating area out on the peninsula here. Um, I just love this whole layout of this little area, like that teeny little sliver of beach, the nice big peninsula, the rocks. I don't know why, but I, I find it really fun to kind of work around like the island's natural landscape. Um, and so when I saw this map with all these like kind of unique features on it, I was just like really excited. Um, and I kind of from the very beginning knew that I wanted to do Meringue's Bakery here. This is like one of my first builds that I planned for this island. Um, so I'm really excited to finally do it. I've kind of been putting it off because as you saw, all that area leading up to this is empty. And for some reason I was like, oh, I need to do more. I need to know exactly what is going there. But it's okay, I'm gonna just do the builds that I have planned and I'll fill in the empty space in between. Um, I think I kind of talked about it in a previous video, but I'm trying to just kind of, you know, go with the flow with builds and just do what I want. I get very obsessive about like, oh my god, is is everything gonna fit together though? Like, I have to make sure I have room for everything. Um, and I'm just like, screw it, I just want to build this and I will squeeze in everything else. Everything's gonna just have to find a way to fit. Um, so instead of just spending forever making plans and mapping out my island, I'm just gonna decorate. And honestly, this turned out so well. I, I did plan it out kind of ahead, like I kind of gathered up all the items that I needed um, and kind of visualized it out. But for the most part, this came to me like really quickly, like I kind of had this idea in my head. And I just said, all right, I'm gonna do it. I don't really care how big or how small this build is. I'm just gonna do it, um, which it's pretty large, honestly. It, it takes up the whole back corner of my island, which was kind of the intention. I feel like doing big builds is nice on, um, since, you know, this isn't my main island, I have a whole other island I'm trying to decorate. Um, so it goes a lot faster um, doing second islands when you have a nice big build like this. So I, you know, not that I wanna like rush or, you know, like get over, get it over with with this island you know i want to enjoy decorating it but sometimes it's nice to just fill up some space on the map because like i know we i mean and i do this too like we always complain about how small our islands are they're honestly pretty big they're pretty big islands um you know especially when you're trying to follow a theme it's like oh my god i can't think of enough things i'm like how many more farms can i possibly build um, which speaking of farms, I just did this little sugar and wheat moment. I had actually planted these because I needed sugar and wheat um, to bake some of the baked goods you see in this build, like some of the cherry tarts and stuff, which I'm mad. I have the cherry tart DIY on this account, but not on my main switch. I usually try to be really careful to only learn things on this side account if I don't have it already on my main one and I guess I goofed up somehow because <laughs> she knows the recipe for a cherry tart but my like main character on my other switch does not and that makes me mad um but yeah so I had just like planted those because I needed the wheat and I was like you know what why not actually put that into this build it's kind of fitting um you know for a bakery to have its own like wheat and sugar 
I was thinking of getting Cookie on my island and having her run a bakery, but I was like, you know, Meringue's already running a bakery, so I think I'm not gonna get Cookie for this island. Um, and then, you know, cause I don't, have to, I don't have too many bakeries on one island. It, it starts to get overwhelming. They're all gonna be competing business owners. Um, and there's only like, only like 10 people who live on this island, you know, like, like, how many bakeries can you possibly sustain? <laughs> it's just not enough. Um, See, I'm gonna get someone else instead of her. I, I've been really indecisive with what villagers I want um, because I still only have like half of the villagers I want for this island. I feel like that's part of the reason why I've worked so slowly on it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll go for Cookie. I might, I'm gonna have her at some point though. I've always wanted her. She's so stinking cute. Um, she's very pink, which I like. I think we've established that I like pink. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna get her at some point. Um, but I at least know for sure I do want to get eventually like uh, ketchup. She's gonna have a little tomato farm. I might give her like a little mini pizzeria. Um, you know, just trying to think of people who will, you know, be very cutesy and farm core. Um, and this is basically the end of the build here. Yeah, here we go. This is the final walkthrough. Um, this came together so quickly, which was kind of shocking. Um, we've got our little strawberry patches down here and that little bench where you can just kind of sit and relax after hard work. We have our dining spot, which I think turned out so stinking cute. I love how the wedding chairs and the ranch chairs uh, match the cinnamon table so well. And then we've got our little fruit picking area, lots of nice open pathways. And then of course, we've got our little open bakery. Um, I used that door code to kind of make it look like it's closed, um, a closed in room, but it is open. You can't get in from the side. Um, and anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I kind of, it, it went by quickly. I've just been rambling, but um, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you did, as I said, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stay peachy.